What's up guys, Felix here from Remify. In this tutorial I will show you how you can use our burning transitions in Premiere Pro. First of all you have to import your downloaded folder. Therefore you can go to File and click on Import. Or you can go also to your project window here, in my case on the left side, and make a right click and say Import. Open your burning transitions folder and select the main folder. Click on Import. And as you can see, now we have imported all the stuff here, the different transitions. And here we have some fast ones. And on top of that, we have this burning dollar transitions here, the burning dollar bill openness. This is a really cool feature. After the import, you have to search for a cut where you want to apply the transition. So what you have to do is to bring up the video track 1 on video track 2. Open the main folder. Look for a transition file that you want to apply. Let's say in our case, yeah, let's say we use this one. Drag and drop this here above on video track 3. And bring the next clip here on video track 1 to the left side. Match the duration with the transition file on top and make sure to add up here. And as you can see these files are already exported with an alpha channel. But we want this burning transition effects. Therefore we have to go to the effects. And search for the track mat key. You will find this under video effects, go to the keying folder and select the track mat key. Now you have to drag and drop the track mat key on video track 2. On this clip here, not on your transition, not on this clip on video track 1. So you have to drag and drop this on video track 2. Now go to the effect controls here on the left side. Go to the track mat key options. Open the mat and select video track 3. This is a really important step, so the track mat key use the alpha data from the burning transition. And now we have noticed that here is not this fire effect. This is totally fine. What you have to do is to duplicate the transition. So hit the Alt key on your keyboard and drag and drop a copy above. Select this one, go to the effect controls and change the blend mode to screen. And now you have this fire effect as a transition on your footage. If you want more saturation of this fire effect here, you can duplicate this burning transition file on top and you will see you can do this how often you want. And as you can see you have much more of this fire effect. On top of the burning transitions, every file comes with an individual fire sound effect. Here is an additional tip. Imagine that you want to add other effects on a clip that is working with the track mat key. The best thing you can do is to make a cut here at this point and bring this file here down back to video track 1 and deselect the track mat key only for this clip until the transition begins. This way you can add more effects on your footage and the transition is still working fine. What I will show you as well is the burning opener dollar bills. Let's say we use this one here. You can drag and drop this at the beginning of this clip. These files are already exported with an alpha channel. Therefore you don't have to do anything. Only drag and drop the file above your footage. They work awesome as an opener for a sequence or for the end of a video. So that's it for our burning transitions. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and feel free to contact us if you have further questions. See you soon, Felix from Vemify.